so the entire purpose of this really is to make this number as close to one as possible so this is the variance of price between a phantom and a tomb so when the price of tomb is higher than the price of phantom this number will be above one when the price of phantom is higher than the price of tomb then this price will be below one so it's a ratio of phantom to tomb um, the system wants this number to be as close to one as possible and in turn all of the mechanisms in here are actually set up to incentivize people to move this number back to the one mark or as close as possible um, now people who are participating in this actually want this number to be higher than one because we're aiming for it to be 1.01 .01. we want that number to be higher than 1.01 .01 because then when we go into the masonry and we see this number here is the largest percentage so it's the most lucrative place to play to put your money um, and this time weighted average price is based off of the number we just looked at so that number has to remain above 1.01 .01 at the time when this timer reaches zero that's when you will receive your payment but only if this number is above 1.01 .01. so going through the other pools before we actually begin explaining how to get your money into here remember this one is 607 percent so that roughly works out around 1.7 percent per day uh, so when you go into the cemetery the two pools that you're interested in are these two up here at the top the tomb phantom liquidity pool and the t-share phantom liquidity pool all of this stuff at the bottom is old and it says in this statement here these pools have ended and uh, basically just ignore them so going into the first one this is paying 0.76 percent per day so this is the lowest one but this one prints regardless of anything else and it will continue to print uh, into the, the future as far as we can tell. Uh, if you then go to the cemetery and look onto the second one, this is a T-share phantom liquidity pool. This is currently paying 1.2% per day. Now this has a finite amount of time that it's going to print for, I believe it's somewhere around mid next year, this will stop printing because the number of t-shares will have reached their maximum amount that are going to be printed, or something to that effect. There's a reason why in six months or so time, uh, this is no longer going to print. Uh, now this is the second most lucrative and this will print regardless of the uh, ratio of phantom to two. Uh, so what are these things? So in order for you to create, going back to this one, in order for you to create a tomb phantom liquidity pair token, you have to take a tomb token and a phantom token and you add them together using a site called Spooky Swap, which we'll look at in a minute. Um, and that creates a liquidity pair which is then added into the liquidity pool so going right back to the beginning I'll now explain how you're going to take the phantom which is in your metamask wallet and turn it into all these other tokens and then put them into the correct pools so initially from the home screen if you go to the buy tomb or buy t-shares it will take you out to spooky swap just like this you accept this warning saying that it's imported a token you then are going to take the phantom that you've got in your wallet and you're going to decide how much tomb you want to swap your phantom to create 
so I like to try and keep equal parts in each pool so initially if you just loaded into here and you've got 73 you're probably going to take um, half of half the tomb half the fabric so you probably do 20 to begin with and then the other 20 tokens that are left are going to create you uh, t-shares so you tap in the number you want for example 20 now always make sure you have some left because if you don't have any left then you won't be able to pay the fees so when you hit the swap button and then it's going to pop up over here you see there's fees involved with this if you have no more tokens left in your wallet you won't be able to pay the fees so when you've created this and then you go back to here and try and put it into one of the pools you will no longer have any money and you won't be able to pay the fees so you have to keep some phantom back uh, it's a mistake i made when i was working all this out right at the very beginning but uh, hopefully it's not something that's going to happen anymore if this disappears sometimes it actually pops behind the window as you can see there it's it's not there anymore so uh, i'll just reject that because i've i've already created everything that i want so that's going to create you a phantom and a tomb so now your amount of phantom should have decreased by about 20 um, and you should have 19.2 extra tomb because that's what the, the current rate is that it's worth um, so now that you've got these two tokens you'll go over to here which is liquidity you're going to take the phantom and the tomb that you just created and the lower of the two numbers which is going to be your tomb you'll hit max on there which will pair it up with the correct number and then you're going to hit supply and then again you're going to accept that pay the fee in your metamask wallet hit confirm i'm going to hit reject and then once you've completed that that's now created you however many lp tokens uh, obviously yours will be in there it'll say 20 um wow okay not like that 20 so 20 tokens of tomb mixed together with 20.75 phantom tokens will create you 13.94 liquidity pool tokens um so once you've created those you're then going to come back over onto tomb finance you're going to go into the cemetery um, or you can click on farm now you're going to go into the first view for the token for tomb phantom lp because that's what you just created and then you're going to click on the add button here and then there you'll have the 19 point whatever or however many it is for you you're going to hit max you're going to hit confirm and it won't let me do it because i don't have any but then you'll pop up in the, the corner your metamask wallet and you'll confirm it and you wait a few seconds and then this number here will increment to however many you've just added so in there it should would in my case would have said 19.3 um, then moving on from there I don't start off with anything in this one if I'm starting completely from scratch so I'll have zero in there so what we're gonna do next we will go back to the home screen and click buy t-shares which is going to open up spooky swap again but this time with a phantom to t-shirt you're going to type in 20 um, which is imagine that that that's now decreased by 40 so i've got 33 left in theory um, that will if i take another 20 out that will create me that many t-shares and it'll leave me with 13 tokens and they'll be used at a later date when you're claiming rewards so you're gonna hit the swap button and then you're gonna confirm down here I'm gonna reject because I don't want these tokens currently once you've done that you go back over again onto to finance this time you're going to go into stake now or go on to the masonry um, and you're going to hit the plus button again hit max hit confirm and then mine mine says unable because it's zero but yours will pop up you'll confirm that and then you'll wait and eventually in there you'll see the number of tokens that you've just put in so what are we actually achieving from doing this whenever you interact with uh, this area or claiming in this area you're going to reset here 
So this will be three epochs, which is six hours per epoch, so 18 hours in total. Once you've added or claimed, this will reset to 18 hours. This one will be 36 hours because this is six epochs. Six epochs for six hours is 36 hours. Uh, so once you've got everything in there, you're gonna then work out how frequently you want to return to these pools in order for you to collect. So as an example, let's say we're in uh, this pool here and you had 80 cents showed up. If you go to claim and then you look here, um, okay, so it doesn't show you the dollar value. On mobile, it will show you the dollar value. So 0.02 currently is roughly 8 cents. Now, if I have to claim it, combine it with something else and then add it to a pool, that's going to cost me around 24 cents to take my money out and put it back in so that it's earning me something again. So I don't really want to spend 25% of what I've just earned adding it into the pool again because that's not very lucrative. So you need to look for what's the optimal break-even point where your earnings are going to be reinvested and they're going to start making you money as soon as possible. So what we're doing aside from the efficiency uh, things is the two cemetery pools are going to create you t-shares whereas the masonry pool is going to create you tomb. So when you come in here and you collect your tomb what are you going to do with it? You're going to take it and you're going to try and add it into here because this is your tomb phantom LP. So in order to do that you're going to have to go back to spooky swap which remember you can get there by going onto the home screen and clicking buy tomb and then that will take you to spooky swap if you haven't already bookmarked it and put it in another tab and then this is where you're going to swap tokens but we're not trying to swap at this point we've already got tomb and we held back some phantom remember so we're now going to go to the liquidity pool we're going to select the two tokens that you want um, we're going to hit max on whatever it is that you've got in there that you just claimed from the masonry hit supply as we did before and it's going to create you your LP token once that's been created you then go back to tomb finance you go into the correct liquidity pool that you just created tokens for you hit the add button you hit the max hit the confirm and then accept it up on your metamask so then what are you doing with the other two pools so you've now got T shares in this pool and currently you've got nothing in the other pool so you collect these T shares when you add the rewards into this pool it will automatically collect these which is going to save you from having to pay a fee you're then going to take these T shares and you want to put them into the T share phantom liquidity pool because currently you've got nothing in there and you're going to build that up purely from the profits of the other pools so you go into here you need T shares and phantom now you've got T shares because that's what was being produced in the tomb phantom liquidity pool so you're going to take them that you've claimed from here and you're going to add them into this pool here but currently you don't have a T share phantom LP token you just have T shares and separate phantom so again you have to get to spooky swap uh, by going through by tomb or ideally you add it in a separate tab you see I keep duplicating all of these so I wouldn't keep opening these normally I'm just doing it for demonstrative purposes but you go to liquidity and you now want to add a phantom token together with a t-share token the two of those tokens hit max at the bottom hit supply accept it up here I'm going to reject again so once that pops up and confirms you should have that many more you go back to tomb finance you go to farm you go to view and then you're going to add it into that pool there, which is going to keep them creating you more t-shares so that's it really that's the the process that you're going to go through on a daily basis to collect things now 
why are we doing this? We're doing this because we want this number to remain over 1.01. .01. So if the number is high, then it incentivizes people to start selling their tomb into Phantom because you're going to get more Phantom than you would do if this number was low. When people sell their tomb, then that's going to lower the price of tomb and increase the price of Phantom, which is going to bring this number closer to the one peg. But remember, we don't want one. We want 1.01 because that's going to pay the most in the Mason room. So I think that about does it for the how to use the tool. Uh, and then after that point, it's contemplating the prices of each token and how are you going to make the most profit by moving things around.